purchased this from CVS. They do have this for $5 at Family Dollar. Kiss Salon Dip Professional Dipping System. And we're going to try this out because my nails look a hot mess. I've been using um, press-ons and girl, it just hasn't been working out. So I have this from Dollar Tree, this from Dollar Tree, this from Dollar Tree, and these two nail polishes from Dollar Tree as well. This is the color that I'll be using. And then I have this top coat and it's supposed to be fast drying. So we shall see. If you guys want to see how to get some cute nails, hopefully cute nails for the low, literally while we can't leave the house and get our nails done, um keep on watching this video this is my first time doing this by the way literally i've never done this so no judging <laughs> i wish i had a drill that'd be way easier but we're just gonna work with what we got and yeah so let's get started with the video okay so we have the activator we have the brush on gel we have two brushes in here to use we also have this little pick thingy. We have a sponge. We have white tips and clear. I'm gonna be using the clear tips. We have the actual dip powder. We have the little thing that it goes in right here. And then we have a nail file with the um, instructions. I'm first going to take the nail file and just file down my nails. So now I'm just gonna choose what size I need. I do have small fingernails, so I'm hoping that all of these fit. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I make entrepreneurship, do-it-yourself, how-to, and lifestyle videos. So guys, I just got done putting the tips on. As you can see, the shape needs a little help. So I'm going to do a like a coffin shape, I think, or I don't know, maybe I'll just keep it square, but make it look cute and cut them down. And I will be back to show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, I am finished shaping them. I did them way shorter than what I wanted, um, but we just wanna go with it. Maybe they'll last a little bit longer since they are shorter, but I definitely get my nails a little bit longer than this, but it's cool. So now we have to put the dip powder into here. guys so i did one coat of the dip powder and here is how it looks um some people do two to three layers so i'm going to see how many i do and i'll show you guys what i'm doing while i do it or whatever make sure you guys use the brush on gel and not the activator for this step because i kind of mix those up so don't do what i did make sure you guys use the brush on gel for the dipping powder part so i'm going to finish this and i'll show you guys what it looks like after two to three coats. what it looks like after two coats of the dipping powder and yes yeah, so far so good the only thing i really don't like is my shape but we're gonna get that together and like i said before they were supposed to be longer but it's okay um i probably will do better with shorter nails anyways while i'm doing all of this so yeah this is with two coats i'm gonna go ahead and do one more coat and i'll show you guys what it looks like okay so here is the third coat um, and they're pretty thick, so yeah. Now I'm just going to shape them, file them down. 
I'll show you guys a little bit of that and when I get done I'll show you guys like up close and stuff okay so I've been shaping the nails and just buffing I've been using this and both of these and I've been going back in with the dipping powder and like filling in little spots. The only thing is, um, if you have a drill, it'll be way easier because like the bottom parts, it's kind of hard to do. So this is how it looks now. And I am about to, I'm going to go um, wash this off and then I'll be back. Okay, so I washed my hands and this is how it looks. Now I have to go in with the brush on gel again and just apply this to the nails before applying nail polish. So this is how they look. They look really good. I'm actually really impressed. The only thing I have to work on is the shaping. 